it's just stopped raining it has rained all day it rained all last night it's been continuous rain so we've had uh, heavy flooding on the roads I'm going to show some of the flooding today it's just stopped raining probably about 20 minutes ago so I thought I would shoot a video as I'm this way on this end of the island and if you wonder where we are we're right down south coast of Guernsey here in the Channel Islands and I'm heading down to the main coast road which is the west coast and uh, if you're wondering exactly where we're going to start we're starting off at the Imperial Hotel so I know a lot of you out there like to maybe look on Google Maps or wherever I am so if you um, search for Imperial Hotel Guernsey that is where we're going to be in probably about 20 seconds time then all you do is you follow the co main coast road round and we're going to end the drive um, at Kobo Bay so it should be around a 20 minute drive so we do a big chunk of the west coast it's not technically all of it but we do the best bit I'd say so uh, yeah a lot of bad weather we've had thunderstorms we've had heavy rain very strong winds have hit the island you can see it's sort of died down now the winds but we've had uh, over 70 mile an hour winds hit Guernsey so there's been a lot of damage to properties um, there's been big trees have come down onto roads we've had uh, severe flooding on some roads as well we've had a lot of problems so the Imperial Hotel is that building straight in front of you. Can you see it? Big tall one, can't miss it. That's the Imperial Hotel. So if you find that on the map, uh, you may have even stayed there. Let me know if you ever stayed there. Then uh, we're going to go right. Actually, you can go left, but it doesn't take you anywhere. It's the end of the road. So we are here. And we're going to follow the coast road around. So this is going to be a nice drive. I did this drive, a similar drive, about two years ago. So keep you updated there's some really nice houses along the west coast you can imagine the views they have on some of the properties not all of them some of the properties have beautiful views over the beaches and as usual I'll name certain points as we go around the coast to give you an idea of where we are again if you're following on the map um, and you can uh, get a bit familiar so the current temperature at the moment my van says the outside temperature is three degrees so it it's quite cold at the moment and in the wind this obviously feels a lot colder the winds not too bad at the moment but I think it's gonna come up later on and it's gonna increase a little bit and if you just look over to the right can you see all these seagulls they're flying into that garden there's loads of them there I don't know what uh, someone's put some food down from or something but they seem to be having a good time and I'm looking down to the coast there and all there's loads of rainwater pouring back into the sea it drains in and there's this pouring out so it's all coming down from the higher parishes or higher lying land and it's flooding uh, into the sea there uh, it's not too busy around here this time of day this is sort of mid afternoon and the speed limits do change around here quite a bit 35 zones most of the coast then it some parts of the coast is back to 25 so you gotta keep your eyes open because um i did notice as i was doing this drive along i had a police car following me pretty much the whole way around the coast um so <laughs> luckily when i'm doing these drive alongs i'm very aware of my speed i drive probably slower than normal because uh, it gives a bit of better viewing experience you notice, I don't know if you notice the houses as we drive along. Very small little Guernsey cottages, some of them. They've probably been there quite a long time. Maybe hundreds of years, some of these little little places. They're very small. Um, and there's some moderner ones as well. But they do get a bit of a battering from the wind if you live on the coast, I imagine. And just around the coast as well you see the remains of the second world war German bunkers now and again if we see one I'll point one out so the, the tide is pretty high at the moment so we'll follow it along uh, hopefully we won't get any rain 
and there's a police car just gone past the other way. I think they're trying to surround me. What's going on? <laughs> So just getting back to the heavy rain we've been having, um, I was listening on the radio before, uh, there's been some quite severe road flooding by the Little Chapel, I don't know if you're aware of the Little Chapel, I've done a video on it, I'll leave a link in the uh, on the screen now, but uh, there's a little dip in the road at the Little Chapel, you'll, if you've been there you'll know what I mean, just outside the Little Chapel and apparently that's impassable, it's so deep and huge cars can't even get past so that's one and then there's a there's a, I think there's maybe we're going to go through maybe two of them on this drive along they're all different parts of the island of flooding it's normally where there's a dip in the road and it's sort of late and the obviously the water collects um, by the way we're just passing the old Larray hotel there on the right and um, we're passing the very good Indian restaurant here taste of india at Leray. so we are now at Leray bay or Leray beach so i think there's some flooding around here as far as where um i believe somewhere along here there's some heavy flooding i don't know if it's further around or um or it's maybe up that road but i know i was gonna ah oh, there we are i can see that water go the car's going through it look so this is you know, you can get caught out a bit. Yeah, this is... Oh, this is quite big. <laughs> it's like being in the sea. So, obviously, you've got to go slow. On a motorbike, I would imagine this is very nice. This is quite deep, actually. Yeah, it's a good idea that car's waiting there. Yeah, that's quite a bit of a flood. It, it You can get through it, but obviously, you just got to be careful. So, it just gives you an idea of the amount of rain we've had. It really has come down. It was heavy, and it was very prolonged rain. So I imagine a lot of the land is like the, um, probably on the right here, I'd imagine. This, yeah, you can see on the right on the grass, it's all flooded. That normally gets flooded around there. And I think there's some further around at Vars on, I believe, as well. So we'll keep your eyes open for that. But yeah, there's certain patches. Obviously, not all the roads get flooded, same as anywhere else. And I mentioned earlier there was a big tree come down in the lane at the Hurrell in St. Martin's. I went past there because I was uh, heading somewhere around the direction and I looked down and it was a huge, huge tree and it just come down perfectly in the middle of the road it was uh, perfectly intact just laid on its side towering God knows how high it was and it went from wall to wall each side completely impassable so um <laughs> It looked quite funny actually. I was trying to find a picture of it, but I didn't. And I, I couldn't take a picture because I was driving. But I wanted to maybe film it. But um, we've had, I know the tree come down, a few trees come down on cars, and damaged vehicles, and also there's been a lot of tr uh, trampolines, like children's trampolines and gardens that have taken off and flown over properties and damage. Um, I know one, a huge trampoline, the Charles trampoline, got blown off over the hedge, over a load of gardens, and went right up in the end, damaged someone's roof, all their tiles on the roof as well. So uh, there's apparently, I um, imagine trampolines are a bit of a nightmare of the winds, unless they're staked down or tied down. They're perfect for the wind to pick up and lift off, aren't they? All right, where are we now? So, update. We are at uh, Parel. Parel Beach or Parel Bay, which one you call it. This is um, not really in that nice beach, really. It's very stony. Parel's not really a place you see people sunbathing on, as far as I ever see. Because you can see on the left, look, there might be a bit of sand. I'm not really sure, but I don't know. Doesn't look that great. And we've got Morrison's on the right. Parallel, Morrison's Parallel, or Parallel at Morrison's. So you see the size of the roads. These are probably big as they get, roughly. 
the roads don't get a lot bigger than this in Guernsey in case you've never driven here this is like the main coast road and um, you can see not huge are they alright let's carry on so we're heading towards Varzon Bay nearly at Richmond Beach so just go around this corner to the right then the Richmond Beach is on the left and further along it turns into Varzon Bay quite a big beach just one on the left it's really popular for uh, windsurfing and surfing you know just uh, the, without the sails just catching the waves surfing in standing up um, big big waves come in on this beach very popular for water sports so this road along here uh, Vars on coast road they also use this to do the sprint it's called the sprint and what they do is they race cars along here and see how fast they can go in a set and they time them there's a little kiosk on the left see that just past there that's really nice kiosk it's, it's closed at the moment uh, they do lovely food I recommend Richmond kiosk it's only really small and there's not a lot of parking spaces but in the summer it's always queues of people they do really nice food there's a few tables outside as well you can sit there but yeah so they do the sprint along here so it's timed and um, the roads obviously closed to the public and they see how fast they can cover a certain distance and the uh, fastest person gets a record. There's different, there's different classes. There's motorcycles. I think there's carts as well. Um, I think single seater racing cars, all sorts. Bit, bit like the uh, sort of cars that do the hill climb, similar thing. I think, in fact, I think most people that do the hill climb do the sprint as well, from what I've seen. This is Vars on Bay, on the left. See, it's a bit of flooding. Um, I think that this corner normally floods, but it doesn't look like it's too bad. Uh, it's not too bad, although there is a little bit here. Yeah, a little bit flooding. I've seen it a little bit worse than this, but still, you can catch you out on a motorbike or a, or a normal cycle. Um, yeah, so. We are just passing on the left Vistas, which is like a cafe, beach cafe. Car park on the left, and we got Krabby Jacks on the right, which is like a, what would that be, like a restaurant, but it's really good for kids. They've got a play area, so if you've got children, Krabby Jacks is always good to go to. So we're following it around, and uh, we're getting a little bit closer to Kobo Bay. So there's a cyclist up ahead. Let's see if I can get around him.
and we are just coming up to Kobo Bay now. All that uh, forest land, or the, the all those trees up there, that's Leggett. I've done quite a few videos up there in the past. And of course, on the left, there's Kobo Bay. I've done quite a lot of videos around there as well because this is quite close to my house around here. I mean, it looks nothing like it does in the summer, it's looking pretty miserable. They're still alright there. If you walk on the beaches in this weather um, and you wrap up and it's not raining, they're really nice, so you get the best of everything, really. And I sort of prefer it in the summer, but then the other day I was walking the dog along the beach and it was like this, weather like this, but it was actually really nice as well. So you can enjoy both. So a little bit of road works here. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. That house on the right there, can you see it? I think that's quite new. It's a lovely house. I think if it's the one I'm thinking of, it was the house that was there was completely knocked down and they rebuilt that one. It's really, really nice house that. So what I'll do is I'll pull into the car park and show you the views over Kobo. I don't know if they're gonna be amazing today. I'll pull in and we'll have a look. Um where there's plenty of spaces. In the summer, you can't get a space around here at all, but obviously this time he has loads. And welcome to Kobo Bay. As usual, if you want to watch another video, you can click the screen. And if you want to see more stuff all about Guns, you can subscribe. Until the next time, take care. I'll see you again soon.